So there seems to be some conflicting stuff going on here with uh, the Trump administration and the White House's official comment stating that Donald Trump was not on oxygen and, you know, saying he's doing fine. But there's multiple sources from multiple different uh, that are being confirmed by multiple different news sources, that being CNN, New York Times, and the AP, the Associated Press. And they're all saying that Trump actually has already received supplemental oxygen. So uh, this CNN report says Trump received supplemental oxygen on Friday, source says. It says a source close to the White House said President Trump has received supplemental oxygen since his illness began. Trump, quote, definitely has had oxygen, the source said. The source said it was Friday when that happened. The president's physician, Dr. Sean Conley, told reporters earlier Saturday that Trump, quote, is not on oxygen right now. When he was asked if the president received it at all, Conley would not directly answer just saying he has not needed any this morning, today, at all. Asked if he had ever been on, ever been on supplemental oxygen as part of his COVID-19 treatment, Conley said, Right now, he is not, adding yesterday and today he was not on oxygen. Um, it's a CNN has asked for clarification about that statement. The New York Times first reported the oxygen development. CNN reported Friday, Friday the president was having a hard time breathing. Um, it says the New York Times had first reported the oxygen development. So NYT reported it. It looks like CNN and the Associated Press have both uh, confirmed the source and confirmed this. And so now there's a conflict going on between official White House statement and the reports that are coming from like the pool reporters and the source that they have that's close to the White House. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going with the source that's close to the White House because um, obviously I believe that it's the most likely, it makes the most sense, but also uh, taking the word of the official White House statement seems to be kind of foolish and just stupid. Uh, considering that Trump is obviously going to do whatever is best for his image, whatever he believes is best for his image. We know Trump to be a pathological liar. He has a tendency to lie constantly. Uh, we know he rarely ever tells the truth. So why would you take his uh, word? Um, and I think the oxygen, supplemental oxygen lines up because Trump is, you know, an obese 74-year-old, which puts him into multiple risk factor groups. Some people are even saying his heart issues, which would put him in, like, triple triple trouble, essentially, in terms of having multiple comorbidity risk factors. So um, it's not looking good right now. It seems that the reality of the situation with Trump's COVID is a lot worse than the White House is letting on, obviously, because they don't want to tarnish his reputation. So... Anybody who's buying the official White House word, I think, is pretty hilarious. But it's definitely going to be a pretty tough time for Trump. I know that there's even some reports that he was having, like, some pretty big panic attacks where I saw something where he was saying, you know, am I going to go out? And it was the name, like, and blank, it was the name of one of his friends who had died of COVID. Um, you know, and it makes sense why he'd be having panic attacks. Like I said, he's 74, he's obese, putting him in multiple comor comorbidities. Um, which puts him into high-risk groups for COVID-19. And, you know, some people had even speculated his Walter Reed visit was because he was having panic attacks that he thought was a heart attack. There's all kinds of stuff going on. This is crazy. Chris Christie got it. He's also in the similar situation as Trump is. Um, so it's not looking good. You know, the entire White House is getting infected. So it's looking pretty crazy right now because everybody's getting hit, but... These next 14 days for Donald Trump are going to be very scary, and it'll be, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much information we actually get about his stay, but uh, Trump's situation not looking too great right now.